Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. Today is Veda Day 6. <laughs> and I just wanted to share real fast. I'm going to start vlogging today for my other channel. If you're interested in that, it'll be linked below. It's always linked below the No Catch Your Name Life channel. But anyways, I wanted to hop on real fast before I forgot. And I did restart my shawl this morning. Um, I'm using the same yarn as Red Heart Super Saver. I think it's called Flamingo, but it's it's like a coral pink color. But uh, the shawl that I was making was turning out too small. And it is the triangle French Triangle Shawl by uh, Melody Crochet. And I'll link it below too if you're interested in checking it out. There's a video tutorial and a written pattern. She even has a PDF that you can download for free. But um, So I was making it and it was coming out too small because I was using a different hook. I was using J-hook. I switched to using K and I chained more. So the last one was um, 124 stitches or chains. I made this one 164. So it's not quite my wingspan, but close to it. <laughs> and um, with the K, the K hook instead of the J, so it is, it's gonna be bigger. Definitely, it's already much bigger. <laughs> so I just started it and I've done one, two, three and a half of the repeated rows, which is just super simple repeat over and over and over and you decrease each round on both ends and that's what makes it start turning into a triangle and then you put fringe on it uh afterwards so i'm, look, I'm looking forward to getting this done i think it'll be pretty over a tank top um this summer before it gets crazy hot <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna be working on this throughout the day and i also found an amigurumi that i want to start um i'm not feeling like working on any of my whips i got all these bags right here <laughs> are whips um, and they're just going to stay there because I'm just not feeling them. And with all the stress and stuff that's going on, I'm not wanting to work on things that I don't want to work on. So I'm going to work on my shawl because it's a lot of fun and I can do it mindlessly while watching TV. I was even doing it this morning in the kitchen while making Jesse pancakes. He wanted some pancakes, so I made a whole batch so that I could freeze some. So it's easier for me to make him more if he wants some tomorrow. <laughs> so while I was cooking them, I was just standing in there with my yarn bowl that I was gifted. And, uh crocheting a little bit and then flipping pan pancakes and then crocheting a little bit and um i'm just gonna work on this throughout the day probably and uh try to get some progress done on it <laughs> and i'll share show it later and i'll probably put in some clips of me working on it and maybe the amigurumi if i decide to start it today i don't know i'm also wanting to come in here and sew a little bit today i'm thinking about trying to make a face mask i tried to make one the other day and i messed it up and it just you know it bummed me out so i got mad at it <laughs> But uh, I'm going to try again today because I want to make one for myself to wear a couple probably that, so I can wash them and reuse them to wear when I have to go out. I don't have to go out much at all because, you know, we can do grocery pickup and um, any orders I get, I can drop off at the mailbox, you know, the drop the drive through drop off mailbox thingy. <laughs> and um, and I got all my supplies here to package up orders and all that. And I am planning on doing some more sewing. Just I'm going to give myself a few days break because <laughs> I sewed so much last week. But, um, I got more materials and, uh, fixtures and all that to make some more crab bags and some more project bags. I'm out of zippers, and like I said, I think yesterday, I can't order them. Every time I go and look, the ones that I order are sold out. And I don't want to risk trying some new ones this time because they might not be the same quality or whatever. So I'm just going to wait. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I'm just going to take a few days break from sewing other than my face masks. But those are super fast. Um, oh, I, I wish I still had that one, but I think I already threw it away because <laughs> I got mad at it. But um, I don't have any elastic at all, and I'm not going to the store to buy any. Um, so I'm going to make the ties um, for it. But like I said, I'm only going to make them for myself, my personal use, because I don't feel comfortable making something like that and giving it away or selling it just because I don't know how effective they are 100%. The only reason I make them for myself is just to make me feel better about, one, because I can be a recessive carrier of it and not know it. And I don't want to sneeze or spit on someone while talking. Because people do that. And it can reach up to six feet. That's why there's a six foot social distance thing. Uh, I don't want to accidentally kill someone. <laughs> and also vice versa. I don't want someone who may be, may be sick and not know it. Giving it to me. And uh, getting into my mucosal membranes. And either making me sick or making me bring it home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a few to put on. Like, before I, like when I'm in the car and I go to the post office or something, if I have to go to the store or whatever, put it on, go to the store, do whatever I do, come back out, and then I'm going to take it off and put it in a bag. It's going to be my trunk, and I'm going to put it in a washable bag so that when I get home, I can put the bag and the masks in, that's in the bag in the washer and wash them. I'm going to wash them on hot water, I think, with a bunch of soap and stuff, and, um... 
that way I don't have to contaminate anything in my car with potentially the virus or whatever and yeah I carry hand sanitizer everywhere I go and me and Devin like if he gets out to pump gas I will roll down the window and when he gets done pumping gas he'll come over to the window and I will give him hand sanitizer <laughs> so he doesn't have to touch the bottle or the car door or anything so that he can completely clean his hands before he gets back in the car and uh, when one of us goes to the store that's what we do also one of us stays in the car with Jesse and then whoever comes in the store gets desanitized before we get back in the car but we're just trying really hard not to you know bring it home or potentially give it to someone else because for all we know we could all three have it and just be recessive carriers of it and uh, I definitely don't want to accidentally kill someone but yeah so um, anyways that sidetracked totally off crochet but whatever it's the times that's my air conditioner kicking on <laughs> And it's right there so it's probably loud but uh it's hot here it's been hot here the last few days um so we've had the air on uh i'll probably turn it off in a little while it's 11 38 right now so after the peak of the hotness of the day i'll probably turn it off and uh yeah i need to get outside and bring in our plants tonight because it's supposed to be getting cooler tonight than it has been and it's supposed to rain and thunderstorm so i don't want to leave my new seedlings outside to get squished by big raindrops <laughs> And uh, my little radishes are coming along pretty good. I don't know if they're all growing good, but some of them are. I can see them poking out of the dirt a little bit, and it's exciting. They'll be pickable um, in like two and a half weeks. I think this, the, not the last week of April, but the week before that, it should be when they're pickable. So that's exciting. And my jalapeno plants are over there in a bag, <laughs> baggy. They're um, germinating. And I checked them yesterday, and they all got their little, first little sprouts coming out. So I need to replant them. I might do that here in a little bit. And um, I will record that for the other channel, the vloggy one. But yeah, so that's my shawl <laughs> in this pretty pink color. Um, I think it's real pretty. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's called Flamingo. And it's Red Heart Super Saver, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's with love because it's not as soft with love. But yeah, I'm hoping to work on this more later. And then I am a groomie that I want to start. And I will share that pattern when I actually start showing it. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop out here and start vlogging for the vlog channel. So check that out in the description if you're interested. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's actually, it's, it's 8.30. <laughs> um, I'm wearing my glasses so that, uh, oof, my eyes gotta just, so you can see my eyeballs. Uh, and also ignore our really messy bedroom. <laughs> I never make our bed. I ain't got time for that. Uh, and also because Devin works second and sometimes third, so he's a lot of times in the bed. But anyways. I wanted to come on because I was just sitting down getting comfortable and I wanted to show you guys the shawl and uh, I actually did crochet another thing and I finished it today. It was a little um, superhero mask for Jesse but I have no idea where it's at. I looked for it and I can't find it. He ran off with it. Now I gotta make him a cape. I'm trying to like block it a little bit before I show it to you guys. <laughs> so anyways, I like I said, I ripped it out and I chained with a bigger hook more chains so it is definitely wider this time. And I got a lot more of it done. Right here. I don't know if you can see these ends. There's some ends right here. This is where, this is how much I frogged out of the last one. And then, so I re-crocheted all that and then that much. So I kind of doubled it, I guess. And it's really, it's a lot holier now, which I like. And it's a lot bigger now. So uh, I'm almost done with it. I'm probably gonna, I might finish it tonight, the crocheting part. I don't know if I'll get around to doing all the fringe tonight, but I'm about to go in there and watch probably either some YouTube videos or a Netflix documentary or something on my laptop because Jesse's watching, what is it called? I forgot. Po, poho, po, pokeo, po, po, I don't know. It's like a little cartoon. <laughs> I can't remember how to say it, but he's watching that on the TV. So I'm going to watch something on the laptop and crochet on this and maybe I'll finish the actual body of it tonight and then I can, um, work on the fringe maybe or maybe tomorrow I don't know <laughs> I have nothing to do tomorrow because what is tomorrow Tuesday um I don't have to go anywhere I don't, I'm not going to the post office until Wednesday I have to ship an order that I got that someone ordered as a gift to someone else so I have to ship that but I'm waiting until I have to go to the post office anyways to pick up a package uh that way I only have to go once oh and I did make a face mask I want to show you guys with this <laughs> okay, I um, I mentioned this in my vlog on my other channel today, but and I also probably, probably will put this clip in that, but I wanted to make me some face masks that are sewn to wear, like when I go to the post office on Wednesday, 
when I really hate this, <laughs> um, you know, to help keep me from spreading my spit <laughs> if uh, I were to have corona and not know it, and also to keep other people from spreading their spit to me. <laughs> so, um, obviously all the stores are sold out of masks right now. So I did, I sewed one and I have two more that I'm going to try to finish. So this is the one that I made. And it, it ties behind your head. Uh, I had to use my drawstrings because I don't have any elastic and I didn't want to go to the store to see if they had any elastic because I'm avoiding everywhere. And um, I didn't want to have to order and wait because I need it to go to the post office, pick up stuff. But anyways, point, point of the story is I made this one. It's got sewing stuff on it. And uh, it fits me pretty good. I like it. And it was super easy to make. And um, so I'm going to... I'm gonna take this one, and I also got two more that are when I, they're already sewn. I just gotta put the strings on them and then pleat them, and they'll be good to go. And they're just two layers of cotton fabric, which is good enough for just temporary being out in public. The point of these masks are to keep you from projecting <laughs> spit and stuff everywhere, and also to keep it from getting on you, and to keep you from if you have it on your hands from touching your face and getting the germs in your mucosal membranes which is in your mouth your nose and your eyeballs um and masks is a good way to keep you from touching your face because you touch the mask instead of your face and you're like oh yeah i'm not supposed to do that um and you know if someone sneezes it spits sends particles up to huh okay i said it in the kitchen um you know when people sneeze or cough or even just talking stuff comes out and you want to keep that away from your mucosal membranes because that's how you get infected luckily um COVID-19 can't go through your skin you know it's, it's a virus it doesn't just seep through your skin uh, I'm, I'm guessing if you had an open fresh wound maybe but uh, most people don't walk around with open wet wounds you know but anyways uh so I'm gonna make these finish these ones up for me that way like the day when I go to the post office I'll put this on before I go into the post office and I'll also have my hand sanitizer with me because I don't have gloves. Um, and then I can wear this while I'm in the post office. And then as soon as I come out of the post office, before I get in my car, I'm going to pop the trunk and take this off and put it in a bag in my trunk and sanitize my hands and all that, you know. Drive home and then I can throw the bag. I'm going to take like a lingerie bag um, into the washer in hot water and soap and wash it. And this will be disinfected. And I know that's true because I was just watching a... Um, Patho uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's like an infectious disease pathologist that's an expert. He was literally talking about that. He said that even if you didn't have a washer at home, you could hand wash them and um, it still kills the germs if there's any on there. Now I know me going into the post office and coming right back out, odds are I won't pick up germs on this because unless someone's infected in there, coughing and sneezing all over the place. But, you know, I don't want to take that risk. And I definitely don't want to bring it home to my husband or my son. So that's why I made these masks. And uh, I have been asked by a few people if I could make masks to sell to them. But I don't feel comfortable doing that because, you know, these masks are 100% going to keep you safe. They're just going to help. They're better than nothing is the way I see it. Because if I walk in the post office and someone sneezes and I walk into their sneeze cloud uh, without a mask, I'm more than likely going to get infected with whatever they just sneezed out. But if I have a mask on, at least I won't get it. And I also have the bonus of having glasses. <laughs> uh, I won't get it um, in, you know, my mouth and all that, which is really gross to think about. But it happens all the time, you know. People, like during the summer, if you see someone outside, you can see them sneeze and it whooshes out and it just kind of hovers there for a minute. That's what you're trying to avoid is that hovering cloud of spit. <laughs> and um, that's, you know, I feel comfortable enough to make it for myself. But I, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving it to other people and giving them the false idea of being safe and then them being out and about and still getting sick. And that's the only reason I don't want to make these for other people. I'm just, I'm literally just making some for myself because Jesse hasn't been out of the house since it started. And other than, you know, outside. And he's not going to be until um, it is announced that it's all clear. You know, he's not going to any stores or anything. When he goes with us, he sits in the car with Devin and I run in and do everything that we've got to get done. And, um, you know, Devin stays on the car with him. The only place Devin goes is to work at home. So, let <laughs> me just stop. Go play. Watch your video. Okay, Mama's almost done. 
and all that jazz. Anyways, I babbled. But yeah, so I made this one. It's got sewing notions on it, and then I have two. And tarts. we have a new bed. Yeah, we got a newish bed. It's a queen size bed. No, it's a king size bed. That's bigger. King, I said. You said queen first. But yeah, so there's my shawl so far, and I like the size, because I didn't want it to be a big, huge, squishy shawl. I wanted it to be like a, you know, that you would wear for fashion <laughs> shawl, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm hoping to be done with the body of it tonight. I'm going to go work on it right now, and then we'll see about the fringe, because <laughs> it's probably going to take me a while to make the fringe, because you have to work all these little tiny pieces of yarn and stuff, and it's just annoying. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here so I can get this video edited and my vlog edited that I recorded on my other channel today, and I will see you guys uh, hopefully tomorrow for another yarning related video and then I'll, I'll vlog have. some more. Yeah, that's one of daddy's old phones, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You play games on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fun, huh? I have a lot. You do have a lot. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.